Saigon, Vietnam. The Apocalypse Now Bar, where Hollywood and the new Vietnam meet. A club which pays homage to a movie, a war, and a renegade hero, Colonel Kurtz. Sent on a classified mission, sir. No longer classified. Mm. Did they tell you? They told me that you had gone totally insane. And, uh, that your methods were unsound. Are my methods unsound? I don't see any method at all. If you're going to do it, let's do it with gusto. You know, in the old history of the West, why the Indians were so brutal? Because they didn't want you to come back in reincarnation as a soldier. So they cut your tool off, your privates, and they cut your legs, broke your legs and your arm and your head. You'd never come back to fight him again. Well, that's the same thing we did. I wasn't the most popular guy in, in that field, but, but the work, I work for the people, not for America. Was the story of the ears true? Oh, oh, that's just, that's a normal thing for soldiers, you know. Once in a while, the guys would make a mistake and, Forget that I wanted just the ears, and they cut the head off. And then the, the hill people have a very peculiar idea about the dead body. They put that head on a pole, and then we start a dance, and hill tribe dancing around that, and throw throw rocks at that head. And we didn't accomplish uh, enough. We killed quite a few, but not enough to justify our being. What had pushed him to become like the jungle he had lived in for so long? If anything, it was the CIA men who had sent him there. Why was anybody surprised at losing control of their all-American hero? It was the government of the time which had freed Poe's darker side and decorated him for embracing violence. Today's government, would rather Poe stayed in the shadows. In his life of war, everything had been permissible. Out of a life of conflict, Poe had created Colonel Kurtz and found a heart of darkness. <laughs> 